Welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. That's how I introduced the very first Seven Pot Club YouTube video, released back on February 28th. Ten months and 40 videos later, we've reached the end of 2018. In this year-end video, I want to share with you some brief clips of my seven favorite musical moments from our first year. But first, I want to thank everyone who has watched, liked, commented, and subscribed. Sharing my spicy world with you has been one of the most amazing and fulfilling experiences of my life so far. It made this year very special. Plus, it didn't hurt that it was our best pepper growing season ever. I wrote and recorded a short song to express my thanks to all of you. I hope you like it. Let's get started. It's been a good year, but now it's coming to an end. Do you remember all the crazy things we did? Putting peppers in the ground, dancing all around, sang a little song in been a good year because I spent it with you every day I'd wake up and try to think of something new to share with you each week provide a little peek into my good year and I'm wishing you of the time I spent with you. Now for the clips, in chronological order. If you want to watch the complete videos, I'll put links in the video description, or you can visit the Seven Pot Club channel page. I've created a new playlist for all the videos that include original songs. For most of my life, I've written songs. When I started Seven Pot Club, I knew I wanted to integrate original music into these videos. At first, it was just the instrumental soundtrack. We filmed seven episodes before I had the nerve to lip sync and dance for the camera. I decided to just launch right into it without warning. You know, chop it like away this. The pepper plants. So let's get started. We're gonna cut off the tops of the pepper plants. Cut off the tops of the pepper plants. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cut off the tops of the pepper plants. Snip, snip. Bye bye. Pepper Cut off the tops of the pepper plants. Watch it now. Oh, yeah. A couple of weeks later, I decided to take things a step further and turn a recipe episode into a dialogue-free music video. I had never done any video editing prior to starting Seven Pot Club, and I'm sure it shows, so I've had to learn a lot of new skills on the fly. This episode marks the first time I ever tried shooting myself in front of a green screen, then superimposing a cutout version of myself over another scene. The result was not quite up to Tim and Eric Awesome Show standards, but I had fun doing it. Pepper's garlic vinegar and lime A countertop appliance and a little time Watch out for deadly fumes when ingredients are blended That's why a mask and goggles are highly recommended Gotta have a taste of the seven pot It's mostly all peppers Not the waste of the seven pot Just enough liquid to hold it together
sent some seven pot paste to Daniel from Extreme Food Reviews. Your old man is an idiot, so he's gonna go in. No, let me have a little bit. No, of no, 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 no. no. I need one of the peppers at least. Like you one want some pepper in there? Chunkies. There you go. Clunk it. Clink. Ready? All right, let's do it. Yep. Here it comes. That is some. Oh yeah. <coughs> Ooh, that's got some kick. Rob, is that how you eat the stuff? Do you just shovel it in? Rob, it is good. Roll those clips. Not only did he and his son Jonas review the paste, but they also got other YouTube creators to dance to my song. That was amazing to watch and definitely bolstered my confidence. Looking good, Brian. Thanks again, Daniel. Capsicum Companion is definitely the wackiest musical interlude in any of our videos so far. Take a look. Here's something fun we like to do to dress up pepper pots. I call it companion planting. Let's get started. Do you get a little lonely in that pot alone? Is there maybe space in there for two? My name is Portulaca and I'd like to be A capsicum companion just for you Later in the same video, I created some horror movie sounds to punctuate my distress upon finding my newly planted garden dying from dehydration. Let's see. Almost 3 p.m. Gotta feed neighbors' cats. Oh my god, it's actually 100 degrees Fahrenheit out here. Although I had thoroughly watered earlier in the day, it was time to check and see how the plants were holding up in the heat. The horror. The plants were shriveled and dying. I couldn't believe how quickly it happened. I took this distressing footage after an emergency watering. These plants were in trauma. I was very relieved this morning to find them recovering and with very little permanent damage. It was a scary moment, and I really wasn't sure if the plants would recover. Back in July, I was having a hard time deciding whether or not to enter my peppers in the upcoming vegetable competition at the Minnesota State Fair. Should I go to the fair? The Minnesota State Fair? Your responses helped me decide to go for it, and I'm really glad I did, because I won three ribbons, including my very first state fair blue ribbon. This homage to trap hip-hop was for the second of two pepper tasting episodes I did this year. I sampled the very hottest peppers from our garden, including the deadly Carolina Reaper, and I overdid it just a little. Red alert, capsaicin red alert. My stomach's feeling queasy, may need Pepto for dessert. In my mouth, in my throat, can't put it out Crimson Tide rolling up in here, but still I'm grinning ear to ear These are my seven favorite red hot peppers These are my seven favorite red hot peppers These are my seven favorite red hot peppers my very favorite seven red hot peppers. I'm crazy, another bite of Reaper. It took my stomach days to fully recover, but I've heard it said that you have to suffer for your art. 
I want you to know that it's about an hour since we did our original shooting, and uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm kind of in agony right now. I wanted to include a clip from this episode because it was the first and only time so far that I employed an iPhone Memoji to do my lip syncing for me. What do you think? Should I do this again? All year, I've enjoyed exploring different styles of music when composing tracks for Seven Pot Club episodes. Since we live in Minneapolis, it was only natural to add a little funk into the mix. Your taste buds deserve a major favor. Introduce them to this smoky, funky flavor. Smoking hot, smoking hot. In addition to making videos, another new thing for me this year was playing electric guitar. My main acoustic instrument is the mandolin, so I acquired and learned to play a four-string tenor electric guitar that I can tune the same way. I'm not very good yet, but I am having fun. I hope you enjoyed these musical moments from Seven Pot Club's first year. I couldn't show them all, so I've created a playlist on the Seven Pot Club channel page with links to all the videos with original songs. I composed more music in the last 10 months than in the previous 10 years. I promise there will be more new songs throughout 2019, along with lots of planting, growing, harvesting, eating, and making. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell to receive notifications as we post new episodes. If you like my new shirt, we now have Seven Pot Club logo t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, and more, all in a variety of colors. If you're interested, head over to sevenpotclub.threadless.com. And for even more Seven Pot Club, follow our daily updates on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Happy New Year! For Seven Pot Club, I'm Rob. And fond remembrance of the time I spent with you